teen who hit an Orlando police officer, William Anderson, struck a deal today just as they were ready to pick a jury to decide his fate. Edward Kelty hurt Officer Anderson so badly back in 2015, Anderson had to retire from the force. Channel 9's Shannon Butler was in court for that plea today. And Shannon, why is this happening now? Well, there was some last-minute negotiations over the weekends. For months, they've been kind of haggling this out. This still means that Edward Kelty could spend life behind bars, but the defense told to stay with the experts they're going to bring up. The talk about him being a juvenile, it could mean that Kelty spends a whole lot of time less behind bars. The wife of former police officer William Anderson told the judge today how one moment changed their entire life. He can no longer be the husband and the father that he used to be. Anderson tried to stop Edward Kelty and his friends in this car after reports of shots fired along Kirkman Road. Anderson is seen in this video in 2015 telling them to stop, but they didn't. Kelty was the driver of that car. He and his friends fled the scene, leaving Anderson lying on the ground. Anderson did not want the man who hit him to cut a deal, but today at the 11th hour, the now 20-year-old Kelty pled no contest to aggravated assault on a police officer, giving him 8.9 years to life in prison. It'll definitely give us closure. We, I mean, we were anticipating the trial. We were ready to go to trial, and it's actually a step forward not a step back. Kelty's mother was crying as the plea was discussed. She left before her son signed the paperwork. The same experts will be used in his sentencing hearing. One will show that Anderson's injuries were not consistent with being hit by a car. In fact, saying the car didn't hit him at all. Um, although this is a very serious offense, Mr. Um, Kelty is not a demon. People want to demonize him in the, in, in the press, etc. But he, based on the offense, but I think we're going to see a different presentation of him at this sentencing. Now that sentencing is scheduled for October. We are live tonight in Orlando. Shannon Butler, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.